What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Philly to Detroit Boxing, man. We got another special guest on with us, Asia Minor. What's going on, Asia? Nothing. I'm How y'all doing? Good, good. Thanks for hopping on with us, too. No problem. For sure, for sure. And then, just to start it off, for real, like, what got you into boxing? What made you want to jump into the journey of this crazy sport? Man, um, I don't know. I've been fighting for real my whole life. Um, <laughs> like... <laughs> I was just chilling. My mom brought me to the gym around like 16, 15, 16. And I've seen it. I was like, oh, snap, it looked fun. And I just took it serious. Word. And then, like, you, when you mean you was, uh, when you say you was fighting, was it like you was fighting on like school and stuff like that? Yeah, I was fighting in school. We're like middle school for real, for real. And then other things in life, you know, when it come at you, you know, life be life thing, you know. Yeah. Word. And I'll be fighting with that too. And it's just like, you know, it was just perfect for me. Right, right. And then speak a little bit about your team, man. We know you're training out the, you know, the dungeon, man, with Bozy and them guys, man. Speak a little bit about the team and, you know, just how they prepare you. Man, um, a lot of drills, you know, a lot of drills, like for real, like bag drills, line drills, you know. Bozy really works on form for real, for real. Like, he don't care really about that. No, it's really about your form. And you know, everyday type sparring and drill. That's really how they prepare fighters. Right, right. And then just in terms of Bozy style, do you think it, it fits you perfectly? Yeah. It makes sense. It's just boxing. You know, you move, you use the jab, defense. A lot of fighters don't have defense, and that's something that he teach. You know, you got to have defense and, and, and a good jab with a good form. You know? Right, right. And then at what age did you feel like, you know what, this is it. You know, I really want to stick with it and, and make something of this for real. Um, I think like 16, you know. Like once I got in there, I was consistent from the gig. Like once I got in the gym, it's not like I, I just got in there and I was playing around. Like, no, I got I was just consistent in the mirror doing the same moves over and over again. And, you know, we took it from there. So, yeah. We're in – uh. Women boxing is going crazy right now. What's your uh, thoughts on the state of women boxing right now? Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's a good job for her, for her. You know, women boxing going up. You know, you got people going back and forth. You feel me with different weight classes and like that. So I feel like you know it's it's getting entertaining. You know, a little entertainment in there. Definitely. If everything went exactly how you wanted to look in the next twelve months for you, how would the next twelve months? Look? will look for you man um i'll get to like a smaller weight class <laughs> i'll get to a smaller weight class you know uh get more discipline get dominique these fights that um i got coming up and then you know around like 12 months like next year or whatever turn in pro you know up that level real quick feel me What's it like training with guys like uh Bruce Anderson, uh Andy Cruz? What's that experience like? Uh it's good for real. You you pick up on a lot, like a lot of stuff that they be doing. If you just like watch them hit the bag and like, that's training too. Like you go in the gym and you can just, you know, you train, but you also watching them, watching how they move, watching how they like they just their 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 uh their discipline, their work, their work ethic. You feel me? You can just watch all that and you pick it up. And then you'll do stuff without you even knowing because you um watching them in the gym. Like when Andy Cruz used to spar and stuff, I was like, you know, I had to pick some of his little stuff up, especially mm -hmm. the bag. I'll be hitting the bag and I'll just be looking at him too because I'm like, you know, I just want to pick it up. No, yeah, that cube is now crazy. It is. He's really, he's really a smart boxer. And he, um, like after every round, he just, you know, you can just see them, like, see him breaking his people's down, like, breaking the people that he's sparring mm -hmm. down. And it's like, bro, like, wow, like, it, it definitely impressed me. What's up with Hanson Cruz English? He talk English or no? <laughs> 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 um, you know, um, he really talk, uh, yeah, he don't really talk English, you know. He <laughs> trying to, you know, here and there, you know, still working on it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, I can see, like, when you say he be breaking people down, because he really don't knock nobody out for real, but in terms of, like, just straight boxing, he in there cooking. Like, cooking, okay. in there working. No, for real, like, 
and he up his level. Oh my God, it's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, he impressed me. Not a lot of people really be impressing me. Okay. Right. Did you uh see anything behind the scenes that you feel like he ain't show yet on TV? Um no, I feel like his first fight it was it was chilling, you know. It was a it was a good first fight, you know, first debut. And then his second one, it it was like a, a difference, you know, he started getting more pop. So I feel mm -hmm. like as his fight go, he's just gonna get even more better. You know? Mm -hmm. So I think he just, he's still cooking for before. We still, you know, we still, even me, like, even me training with him sometimes, it's like, I still got a lot more to see. Like, he, he just now getting started, you know? Then how many fights you got under your belt right now? I only got 14. That ain't bad. 14, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Really? How yeah, would, I, no, go I, ahead. No, I was going to say, how would you describe your style of fighting? I don't fight. I feel like I'm, I'm a fully fighter, you know? Like... <laughs> <laughs> like that's my style. I don't really have a USA boxing style where you just throw a hundred punches, come back, and I don't know. Like my style is like a it's straight silly. You know, I can't even describe. I used to jab, like fence. So my you know, body. Body. <laughs> go to the body. See, I go to the body. You know, and they don't have defense like that. But you know, me and Bozy, Bozy hooked me up with that. Where I was gonna the, say uh, being in there with boots, he being there. I say this every time too, because it'd be crazy to me. He'd be in there and only do defense for 12, 13, 14 <laughs> rounds. And I'd be like, bro, what tip you on? Or he <laughs> only put a jab for a 12 round spar or something. I'd be like, bro, what tip is bro on? Listen, those rounds be like for 20, 20 rounds, it'd be four minutes each round. Like <laughs> he in there tripping. Some, some go up and we all be doing it like we all be doing it as a team we push each other for real for real but don't for that four minute bell that four minute clock you know no four minutes is crazy and smart and i ain't gonna lie you gonna oh, feel yeah. that yo you gonna feel it about it but i don't know it depends like when you in there with somebody that's like that's like really like that oh god you're gonna feel it that was about to be my next question too. Who's some of the best girls or guys you've been in the ring with that really push the best out of you? Bring the best out of you. All right, I'ma say that was a good question. It's like no, but I'ma say um O'Shea. O'Shea and um Brooke. Okay. Shout out to O'Shea too. She fight tonight, I think. Yeah, shout out to her. Um Brooke and um I know I like Stacia. She she you know she's one of the top amateurs. Yeah, her on, we had her on here too. Yeah, I think that's if I'm missing somebody, I don't know. They probably you know wasn't really like them, but the top three girls like yeah, I like I like I like all of them. You know, they definitely push me, um, being up on me a little bit, you know. But you know, they <laughs> they only made me better for them for them. So right. she, What's the uh what's the worst thing you hate about boxing? Like, is there anything that when you got in this sport that threw you off that's like a kind that you don't like? Okay, wait. I feel like why we come on, like nobody got <laughs> like why is we cutting weight? You feel me? Like <laughs> that's a bit. you know, I'm sitting here sleepless nights, starving, stomach touching. No, listen. I hate drunk. <laughs> I feel like that's every fighter, like, what right. they really hate about the sport. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of fighters we had on say similar to that. Like, if it's one thing about boxing, man, it's just cutting that damn weight, dog. Yeah, like, like to lose weight, you got to starve. Like, you just eating, like, fruit, just little, just baby food. Like, come on. Like, what I look like? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Have you ever, uh, I know, and I know you early in your well, you've been boxing for a minute, but as far as competing, you still kind of early in it. Um, have you ever thought about like doing like a nutritionist or something like that to kind of help you like yes. do something like that? Yes, I need that. I need. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, too, because I'll be snacking. All right, I'll be uh, yeah, you know. That kind of. I've been hearing a lot of the uh, pros and amateurs we have on. They be saying they had these little nutritionists or whatever, and they say it helped them cut weight, but still feel strong. You know what I mean? Yeah, I need that. I Inshallah, I will definitely get that in the um the future for real, for real. Yeah, sure. Definitely. And uh tomorrow we got a bunch of fights coming up. We about to get your predictions on some of these fights and who you got coming out victorious. 
Yeah. That's right. You got uh Roley and Pitbull Cruz. Who you see coming off victorious in that one? Uh, I'm gonna go with Pitbull. I'm gonna go with he just he just give me more like he wanted for real. Like he just a dog or something. You know? Where Roley just Roley just a clown. Like he's just like a comedian. <laughs> So nobody, no boxer respect Rolia. Yeah. <laughs> he gotta get this win, man. He gotta get this win. Rolia and Ryan together because they just give me the Instagram boxers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so when Rolly win though. Do you do you give him his props? Yeah, but he's still like he's still like a <laughs> you know, like he's a clown. He just want to entertain. Like yeah. he's not really doing this for real, for real. Like for some. Oh yeah, I'm trying to, you know. Yeah, you know, he probably- talking his way to a yeah. world championship. No, yeah. he really lo- that's crazy too because he his first uh title shot he uh fought the boy Martinez who I thought he lost but he got the dub on that John. And well, uh, how you feel about Alicia and, and Clarissa getting into it? You feel like Alicia can pull that off if they was to fight, or you feel like that's just too far fetched because of the weight? Yeah, I feel like even. I feel like the skill level, the work ethic, the coming up, you feel me, the experience is just too different. You know, like Alicia is a great fighter, but Clarissa is just different. Like, even the way she came up with the amateurs, she has more experience. With the pros, she was tested way earlier. Like, we ain't never seen Alicia tested. The only person she really got tested by was Michaela Wiener. Well, by Michaela. But, like, if you look at her resume, it's more, it's more like built up. You know how how it's supposed to be like a little built up. You feel me? So I don't know. And if you be like power, but it's like power don't get you but so far. Like you gotta have that dog in you. You feel me? And Clarissa is just gonna go there. That's how I feel. Though. That's just my opinion. But basically, uh, Lucia don't got no chance. Is what you saying? <laughs> Where that's what everybody keep. That's what everybody keeps saying though. Nobody really feel like she got. Chance. I mean, she the goat. So you know, it make it makes sense. Yeah, I'm and then, rocking with huh? I'm rocking with Clarissa for sure. Okay, then, like y'all got a dog, like it's a dog, like they both dogs, but you got the like, yeah, she really bro, she grew up a flint. She had no water. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> 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 you think you just gonna go in there and try to do all that pretty shit? No, like, what are you, what are you doing? You feel me? It's just two different places, you know. Word. And then I'm assuming Clarissa is some one of the people, but like, who are some people that you watch or like try to take some game from and implement into your game or take some of their you know styles or what they be doing in the ring? Um, I like Amanda. I don't really watch her for referral, but when I I don't watch her a lot, but I like her. I feel like she she really you know she's really smart. Clarissa, cool for referral. Alicia, I do I do watch Alicia. I do like her. Like. I like how she pick her um punches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Females, yeah. It's not even her. Yeah, it could be males too. Oh, males. Um, I like boots. I'll be watching boots, Andy. Understand. Um, Christian, Cardo. You know, I'll be in the gym with them. So most of the people that I'll be watching, you know, you feel me with them. That's really where I where I do. I watch them. So when, you, uh, when you start training with those guys, do you develop any type of biasness when you get in there? Like anybody, because I always felt, I always thought like anybody who, I like, I don't think nobody at thirty five could get beat Shakur. But I always wonder, like, what if I was really in Devin Haney or, or Tank training camp? Like, will my mind start swaying without like just on? Because you know we only human. It's like if I'm right there and I'm seeing it, damn near right there. I'm always wondering, like, will my mind start swaying? Like, would you pick Boots against Carford and like Andy Cruz against Keyshawn Davis? All right, I I wouldn't say bias. No, I feel like Andy can beat Keyshawn for real, for real. And I feel like I don't know Boots and Crawford. We just gonna have to see that. Like, we you feel me? Every a lot of people they'll be like, oh yeah, no, nah, Boots can be everybody. Boots can be everybody. Da, 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 da. But it's like you know, he also gotta get in there. You know. Like with me, it's like I gotta see it. You feel me? Because most of his opponents, it really, really wasn't on his level. So if we get the top guys, you know, mm-hmm. on paper, you feel me? 
something. You know, for, I feel like he'll put on a good fight, but we would just have to see how that come out. Where, I mean, but the only person that people think could beat him, if anybody was to pick him, that's literally the only person that he'll be the underdog against. He probably had, because I think he'll even be the favorite against Spence off coming off that loss. I think he'll be the favorite going into that fight. Because I don't know what's up. What's up? No, that was wild. What was your uh, take on that loss, man? I know that uh, that killed me. That killed my energy. I'm like, I went to Vegas. We both went to Vegas, so, you know, we in our head, like, we about to go see some fight of the year type shit. Like, I'd have stayed home if I knew that shit was going to look like that. I went to sleep or something. Like, I had to stay up and coffee. Like, no, I don't know. That was a hurt piece for real. For real. I liked Arrow, but he wasn't his best. He showed me. Like, I don't know what, you know, he was in there drunk, like, or high or something. I don't know. <laughs> Hey man, I did see him at the dispensary yeah. right before the fight. I sent the the video to Fro. He was literally at the dispensary before the fight. I yeah, like, like the, um, it just I don't know what he had. He probably really was just on some light high shit. Like <laughs> you think he uh you think he killed himself to make that weight? Cause he was fighting at uh he was fighting at 52 in the amateurs. So when he turned pro, he ain't do nothing but go down and then became rich and then just stayed at that weight because it's a little easier to make weight when you ain't got the money like that and then once you can eat lobster every night and shit it's a little harder to make the weight so he still while he was getting rich from being broke to getting rich he stayed there so it just got harder and harder and harder right i feel you on that part and he getting older like you know as you get older it's gonna be harder like your body not gonna keep going down to that low weight so yeah he probably did kill his make that weight but like he know he doing you feel me like he, he know when if he wanna go up or not like he know when it's really too much and if you feel like it was too much you should have did I don't know like I don't call that a catch weight or something but they had to get that over with for them belts though for real man I uh he's supposed to go to fifty he the A size so he could have he could have went up to fifty four exactly like forty seven come on bro like. And he the younger, he the younger guy, so he could have stalled butt out for one more. You know what I mean like, yo, let's go up at fifty four, get belts. That would took another year off his career, a little <laughs> older. You know what uh, mean that's why and- Canelo not fighting David now because he missed his chance to fight him young. Now it's like, damn, Canelo know he, you know, he fucked up. He like, damn, I was supposed to catch him at this age too late now. How you feel yeah. about that situation? You feel like Canelo ducking him? Um. Yeah, probably. Yeah. probably. I don't know. Like, wasn't Canelo cheating before? Like, yeah. He said, the, he said it was the meat. No diddy. <laughs> 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 it was that's the meat he, said. he said the Mexican. That's what Oscar Valdez did. What Oscar Valdez did. Didn't that whole camp get caught with some shit? It was Oscar and Canelo. Yeah, they yeah, all. Both of them got caught up. Yeah. They be lying. Now, Oscar ended up fighting that same, like, weekend after he got caught up. Yeah, they be lying. I don't know. Like I don't know. When can when I heard Canelo was cheating, I'm like, bro, they be lying. They be trying to tell y'all, oh, it's the meat, it's the fish. No, no niggas. You know. they- <laughs> what made I feel like what made Canelo look bad is like when you a five seven person who punching like that can't no crazy shit come out because it's gonna make you look crazy because you already seem different. Like five seven knocking guys out at 168 and 75 and shit like five seven people be at 35 and 26 and shit so like yeah. so it was like when anything crazy come out like that's how i felt even with uh with alicia is like there's not too many female power punchers so if you a power puncher and some shit come out about you it's only just gonna make you look worse like if something came out about clarissa being on steroids or something like it's a little easier to believe her because like she don't knock nobody out so it's like oh. And but then, if someone who actually put the people down come out, it just make you look a little bit more, more suspect. When the muscles looking a little manly, like you know, chin start getting a little strong, neck start getting a little big. You feel me? That's when stuff start getting iffy. Like I said, how you felt about anyway and Cool Boy fight? Oh, the one with Cool Boy got pulled out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, ain't to say, you ain't had to say it like <laughs> when, he lost. when he lost. That's it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, from, I'm from Philly, so you know, I've got they be giving they be giving me hell about that loss. Um, no, I mean, I feel like it's boxing, 
It happens, you know. He he, he cool boy still a champ. He went in his hometown to like fight him. You see what I mean? So that that that's my heart right there. And I don't know, like you just got hit with a good shot, and he just wasn't the uh the better boxer. But they don't take nothing from him. Like he's still a good fighter. Just got hopping the foot again, you know. Anyway, just a bad motherfucker, but it's just a different breed. <laughs> See, is it about the nobody think he on steroids? Oh, he's probably just a dog. He probably, I think he's just that damn good, bro. He might be though. He probably just a dog. If he came out that he was, I wouldn't be surprised. But I still think he good though. Like he could be, not like he definitely. Like anybody who ever got caught on steroids, like they still super nice. They just was trying to enhance their shit. Like everybody <laughs> got caught, they was really like Hall of Famers, like Shane Mosley and shit like that. So we know they was good, but I don't know. He just like a Power Ranger in there. Like I don't know. Like different. It's like anyway is literally if you was to go in the game and make a fighter, like it's gonna look like anyway. Like your speed gonna be on the hundred. Your power, we gonna put your power on the hundred. Like just all this extra shit. Your boxing ability gonna be on the hundred. He's he a real life power ranger out there. I just can't work. Who knows? He be in there working though, like the little clips and shit I be seeing of him. You know, just in the gym. He really be working, but who knows? Shit. Then they talking about the no drug test out of Japan. Like that's crazy. But oh yeah, I ain't know that. <laughs> like you can't be like bro, like you can't be 22 and no with like 21 knockouts and we not doing drug tests around here. Like cut that shit out. Damn. Like that's wow. When the next time you trying to get in the ring? I, mean, I got a fight coming up April 21st next month, you know. Yeah. So I'm that's just a getting day before my day. birthday. That's your birthday? A day before. A day before? Oh word, oh word. I got you a happy birthday. <laughs> but, <laughs> I know, but um, yeah, I'm getting ready for that jump for, for real. I'm in the gym, and it's Ramadan, so I'm over here. Fasting right now while you training and everything. Yeah, you know. Oh wow, I, that's like. No, I've been I, trying. I was actually gonna ask you about that too, like during you know, because I know you was a Muslim faith, and I'm like, how during Ramadan is that tough on you trying to train and stay strong? Yeah, like you can't drink on water. You be over there hungry. I be hungry at nine o'clock. <laughs> like, like, and you're not as strong. Like when you hit the bag, you don't you you don't even want to do friends for real, for real. You want to just chill, do a light workout, and go home. Like you don't want to drain yourself. So, you know, I be having my. I ain't perfect, you know, but I don't know. I'm just getting ready for that. Though. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to like yeah, put pause on somebody. <laughs> what weight you fighting at? It's gonna be like uh 146. Okay. Yeah, I think she coming from um Jersey or something. I don't know, but she coming to Philly, so it's like I ain't getting beat in my own city. That's crazy. No, I can't. Doing that. That's good. Do you uh change change your training regimen? Like when you fasting, like do you try to like do your team try to make you like give you a little bit more light workouts? Instead of pushing you because they know you're fasting, or it's kind of the same thing, and you just gotta get through it. Uh, yeah, like uh, when I was sparring, um, when I was sparring at Bozy's, Bozy, um, he had me do like uh, it was like three rounds, and I got out, and I did two more. You know, he told me to, like just calm down and because you're fasting for for real. So yeah, like my dad, he uh. Tell me, like, just go light. He don't be trying to push me super, super hard because you know you're fast and you know you don't want to. So. Is there any benefits from it? Like, do it help? Do it? Do it at least help you lose weight? Like, do like because <laughs> like you already got a fast anyway. So it's like, do you at least be like, oh, all right, well, at least this week the weight did come off this week though, even though it wasn't. I ain't wanted to come off like that, but it did. Yeah, I feel like it helped, but um, you just gotta watch how you just gotta watch what you eat. Like you're you're fast and you're not drinking no water, so you don't and you're fast with a cheese steak. You feel me? Some fries. Like it's not gonna really help you. Like you're not gonna really outwork that. So you just gotta eat healthy for real, for real, and watch what you eat. I appreciate you for hopping on with us, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for here. Definitely, I'm about to say uh. 
let the people know when you're fighting again and give out your social media and let everybody know where they gotta go to follow you. I'm fighting April. Um, like, hold on, my day. I had to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting April 21st, y'all. Y'all can follow me on um, Baby Blueski. You know, so love. And yeah, that's all. Appreciate you. We definitely gonna uh, have you back after your fight for a little post fight interview. Ask you how that went and things like that. I'm, listen, I'm playing pause on that. I'm gonna let y'all know how that go. Then <laughs> <laughs> the stoppage got caught a stoppage before it happened. Definitely, she she not. I don't know. She 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 ain't like that. Uh, all right, All appreciate right. you. Thank you for coming on again. All right. All right.